Okay, I'm going to show you a real cool little, not experiment, but I'm just going to check on the radiation here. I guess you'd call it an experiment, but you know, everybody says that Hawaii is full of radiation, and I have a 30 acre lychee farm here in Hawaii. You can see the lychee trees behind me. And just in case you don't know what a lychee tree is, this is the lychee fruit. And these things are beautiful. They're just starting to make fruit. I've got about 700 trees here. And you can see these things are beautiful. Let me take one off. And you can just bite it like that to break it in half. One handed. Um, look like an eyeball. I'm so lucky to have this fruit here at my fingertips. This fruit lubricates your glands and your sperm or just your general lubrication inside are made out of a lot of things called polycy uh, poly excuse me, polysaccharides. And polysaccharides are what lubricate your body. So um, these sell for about ten dollars a pound in Honolulu where we sell them. And the Asians know that these are more like an aphrodisiac. But they also make your body very virile. <laughs> and virile means that uh, your sperm is made of uh, of polysaccharides so you can go ahead and see what that may do for you and for you women too that's what it does too it also lubricates you in many different ways your glands and well all your organs let me show you this radiation test 334 means that we've been putting this inspector radiation alert meter on 10 minutes and that's 10 minutes worth of ionizing particles as you can see 334 okay and we're gonna reset that right now real quick and I'm gonna show you 334 means that if you divide that by 10 because we put that on for 10 minutes I'm gonna put this on the ground now and there we go it's on 10 minutes it just switched over to 9 right now and it's going to start counting the each one of those little ticks go off I'll put my microphone down there so you can hear it so the little ticks you're hearing those are ionizing radiation and Hawaii since I've checked it here is within pretty much its normal limits 25 to 30 okay so if we had 300 before if you divide that by 10 because we did it for 10 minutes that would give you 30 um, of these bleeps per second okay which is 30 counts per second and when I was in California on the west coast over in Southern California uh, we had uh, all the time between 50 and 60 at every area I could find. I, every area. I went back and did three lectures back there. And uh, every place was 60. So anyways, I just wanted to show you this. This is going to go ahead and go on for a few more minutes. And we'll talk on the way just for a few minutes here. Um, it's very important. This is my steamed. I just wanted to show it to you. I have a crystal in here. And so the crystal, what it does is when you drink water, it makes it so water is actually enjoyable and fun to drink. Now, what kind of water you drink is very, very important. What kind of water do you drink? You drink tap water? <laughs> A lot of people do. Do you drink, um, well, uh, stream water or, uh, uh, you know, water from a spring? What if you found out that a lot of the waters that you're drinking aren't doing anything for you? Because we live in a toxic world, so you need to take out uh, things out of you by what you are. It's 18 gallons of salt water. So if you're 18 gallons of salt water, that would simply mean that you'd want to clean yourself with... Uh, I'm going to point the camera to the sky because we're looking at clouds. 
and the clouds on the mountain. That's the tallest mountain in the world. And over there, well, you can't see them from here, but you can see them over there. Those are clouds, and they're full of rain. And rain, of course, gives you this water I'm drinking, which is steam distilled or rain water, as long as it's not perverted by pollution. So, anyways, uh, steam distilled is, uh, is a water that I've been using, which actually works so well to take out the inorganic minerals out of your body. And I finally found one doing a lot of research for, uh, for a long time, really, and uh, purchasing a few and finding out they don't last more than six months. I finally found a model that actually is uh, all stainless steel and one I can afford and one that actually works really super bad arse. So um, this is what I'm drinking, steam distilled. So you're trying to go ahead and modify your terrain. Remember, that's the most important thing. And it's not even talking about your internal terrain. You're talking about the terrain that basically, like I am right now. Um, I'm surrounded by coffee trees. These are coffee plants we just planted, a couple thousand of them here. I'm surrounded by green everywhere, grass. That's why my eyes are a little swollen right now. The grass was just cut, so my eyes are sensitive to, the, to all the ions. There's millions of them. He just cut it about, about maybe an hour ago he finished here. So that's one of the reasons, again, why I'm jumping around a little bit. That's one of the reasons I moved out of Los Angeles in the city, that area, is because I couldn't stand the chemicals anymore. I couldn't stand the pollution, the smog, the particulates. So if you live in any type of a place that's toxic, which the whole world most likely is pretty toxic, and I live, like I said, in Hawaii, the cleanest air in the world here on the Hamakua coast, and you can hear the birds. <laughs> okay, so air is one of the terrains that you need to modify. Water is one of the terrains you need to modify. Okay, seeing green <laughs> a lot of the time is because your eyes basically see uh, and they project and or catch energy by the colors that they see. That's why they put certain colors in jails to be able to keep the inmates at bay. And you can see these rows go really deep <laughs> everywhere. So uh, again, I'm so blessed to have this, this, uh, this farm all organic. Um, we don't spray any, any pesticides on the trees or we don't use any, anything that's uh, chemically at all. So you're trying to stay away from chemicals and of course it would be a perversion to be able to poison food and put it out into the food stream so the other people unwittingly, and I say that again, unwittingly would know that uh, these poisons are hidden in the food. They're hidden in your water. So drinking certain types of water and making sure that you're not in a pollutional zone is very important. And if you are in a pollution zone, then, well, then one of these days, get out. This thing's been on now for about six minutes, and it's on 210, which is really low. This video is about uh, eight minutes and 30 seconds so far, so it might even be more. So anyways, the radiation rate here in the grass, okay, is very low. The West Coast, that's why I drink a lot of uh, certain liquids, because our bodies are liquid and we have a lot of radiation in our systems right now. So it's really smart to be able to change your diet. Watch a lot of the videos that I do. Put a lot of videos out on YouTube for you. Don't take my word for it. Investigate. And of course, don't believe me, because if you do, that that's not too, too smart. <laughs> So do your investigation and thousands of people have terrain modify themselves by just taking some, just some of the ideas, the concepts and the disciplines that you know, we have to offer. And we do have a store for you if you are in the United States and or Canada. We ship at these two places. Um, we have a whole list of different superfoods, herbs, spices, uh, and essential tools that you need, including this necklace that I'm wearing on my neck. Everybody needs to wear one of those to advance your vibration, to keep your vibrational tune to, well, whatever the sun is. And the sun's right now at 13 cycles per second. You'll learn about this in the book we're putting out. But right now, just know that you're supposed to be in tune with the sun. And whatever the sun's tune is, well, that's your tune.
if you can get there. So anyways, just wanted to show you, uh, <laughs> I hear the birds, my backyard here and uh, see if this thing could go off while I'm still chattering. It's at 279 now and it's pretty close to going off. I'm just waiting for it to go ding ding. But um, drink a little bit more water. Mm. The crystals that are in there, what they do is they make it so when you drink water, water is hard to drink if it's cold, so don't drink it cold. It's not smart. Body's got to go ahead and actually bring it down to room temperature just to be able to absorb the stuff. The steam distilled water is just pure H2O, and what it does is it actually goes in, grabs in organic minerals, doesn't touch the organic ones, and, and pulls them out of you. I had foam on my urine, and I got a clean diet for about five days, this big, as I was uh, urinating like crazy, drinking a lot of this uh, water that I just got my new machine. I've been really trying it. My other one that I had broke, and it did, wasn't effective. It wasn't uh, set up like this one. So. Where can you go ahead and get a uh, steam distilled, really powerful uh, unit, all stainless steel for under 600 bucks? Um, you do also need an alkaline water machine too. They're very good to be able to make electrolysis water. pH of, I, I drink a pH of 10 water all the time. But the power is to be able to make it so the water that you drink, same thing, is uh, also energized with hydrogen, which are bubbles that you'll see in the water. Oh, there it goes. It just beeped. Okay, so 328 divided by 10, which basically means that there's 32, 33, let's say, uh, parts of some type of ionizing radiation that that meter, very sensitive meter, is picking up. And in fact, when I flew back from Los Angeles, I used this meter, I brought it into the plane. Supposedly, you're not supposed to bring them in there, but I did. And I turned it on, and I had to shut it off because it was making so much beep, 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 so much noise. And I had it up uh, in 10 minutes. We had it up to a thousand, which is a hundred uh, cycles per se, or excuse me, a hundred of these, these uh, uh, ionizing radiational uh, particles that are being sensed, okay, in a minute. And if you look up hazmat, over a hundred is like an emergency. So the people that are flying planes right now, uh, and people may say, oh, well, that thing's just picking up. No, there's been over three, about 2,500 nuclear bombs that have gone off. If you haven't seen the uh, nuclear bomb tape, go ahead and look up uh, nuclear bomb in time lapse. And you'll see that, <laughs> look at all, I'll show you how many countries and what years that they went ahead and actually did all these bombs. And that's the ionosphere, and the ionosphere is loaded full of cesium, strontium, radioactive, a lot of stuff, okay? So when you go up there, yes, you do go ahead and get infected. It does affect your immune system. And so taking out, taking out radiation is very important. We'll go over that in the eartheracademy.com, Earther Academy. And the Earther Academy is just a place where my tape's gonna run out, so I'm talking faster. Uh, is a place where we can share ideas, disciplines, and concepts that are not made for YouTube. It's a very sensitive world here, so the last thing we wanna do is talk about things, treatments, or anything else that are um, public. So coming to the Earther Academy, once you go through about 180 days, then you start to be able to share your truth and you start to share basically how to optimize anybody's health and wellness because you already did first phase, very simple, terrain modification, about 30 departments. <laughs> You'll learn a little bit at a time. Okay, that's enough. And I know my camera's gonna cut out any second now, so aloha and we'll see you later and we'll give you a shot of the, look at these beautiful lychees. Oh, they're like grapes that are uh, not good for you. And then basically what you do also is, uh, here, just two seconds more, because i am still got some tape going, is you use the shell and the seed to be able to make the best uh, 
parasitic tea. So this is a really good, if you look it up and you notice, there's not a bump on this thing as far as from a bug because they can't eat it. It's a super um, parasitic herb, uh, you can call it the shell. Okay, that's enough babbling on. All right, aloha. <laughs>